Hello, good day everyone and welcome back to our uh, recorded uh, Let's Play sessions featuring, uh, of course, the Holy Replicant Empire here in Stellaris. So this is a new playthrough that I have made since I've already finished the story of UNS. So we're starting a new uh, gameplay na right now, or new gameplay on a new empire. So uh, the year is 20. 19 but I'm gonna add this is not the actual uh, date because uh, the story wise the gameplay here uh, takes place on a uh, oh what happened here oh oh yeah okay so here's this thing oh oh my uh, all right uh, I have no idea what just happened here Okay, I'm so anyway. Uh, the year is 2219, but I'm going to uh, change that because that's not exactly the uh, timeline for this uh, playthrough. So, for the moment, our government is a type of theocratic dictatorship headed by Matriarch Safra Vegan. So, uh, and uh, uh, I have no idea what had just happened here. I'll probably have to uh, load this one again. Okay, so just uh, give me a second here. Uh, right, this is something that I should be uh, checking around with. I have no idea. Okay, okay, uh, just give me a moment here. I'm just gonna make some sudden changes. Okay, there we go. So I've uh, already corrected what uh, was happening earlier. Um, it was uh, an unforeseen uh, error. So anyway, uh, like I said, this is the Holy Replicant Empire and we have just uh, went through to our first uh, playthrough session. So this is now officially the second playthrough session. So let's begin on our gameplay here. So for now, Construction I'm, complete. I'm going to uh, slow down the time here because uh, so that I could catch up with the management. Okay. I uh, what's this? We have more leaders ready to be put on work. Uh, I, I guess we still have one slot there, but uh, not gonna go. Uh, Construction complete. Okay, so we've encountered another aliens here on uh, on 2219, uh, September 27th. Uh, it's Kappa aliens, so I'll probably have to assign... Oh, two of them. Encountered in Seoul, I encount both of them. Okay, so this is very alarming indeed. Spaceborn creature encountered. Uh, right, but I don't really see one. Anyway, uh, we're going to put our ambassador here. So there, um, let's uh, continue on with our gameplay, our playthrough sessions here. So we got the Hollow Theaters. Um, I'm not sure if my uh, usual uh, gameplay or old style of gameplay still uh, s is still applicable here, but uh, let's see if it does. Okay, uh, right. So we're just gonna add some normal special speed. project complete. Okay, so there is a new event here. The team under science officer Tu Prataras has finished their expedition of Chiblar 2 and returned RH RHH Irx, but thankfully the starship graveyard on the surface proved to be technological trove. Okay, excellent. So we're gonna set our borders here. 
so uh, we're not gonna extend it here so we don't we won't get into trouble with this uh, isolationist empire the pit the pitok sh shard shard or something oh what's this we got several alien vessels oh okay so they're probably not that harmful they're just uh, I think they're space whales of some sort anyway that's good I'm just gonna put a little bit slow with this one okay uh, yeah well they're just uh, swimming in this area so we could just colonize this I guess we are spreading our faith to a new world okay right we got uh, two level ups here uh, Matrix Safra Vegan has level up. What? Uh, I have no idea what this visionary means. Pop up keep. Uh, okay. So he is already a veteran at his tender age. Oh, he's now she's now 34 years old. Not bad for a clone. Idol leaders. Oh, keeper of the vaults. Yeah. Um, not sure. I think she was assigned or something. Waiting to be assigned. Let me check on the government. Well, she's keeper of the vaults. To propack or something. Yeah, she's keeper of the vaults for all I know. Is authoritarian, authoritarian scientist from the continental world of gold, where he previously held the position of metallurgist. Okay. Okay, uh, do we have any spare science vessels? Uh, no, I think not. Uh, we'll just keep it like that. Okay, right. Uh, everything is doing good. We might share one vault here mm -hmm. over this one on Wallachia. Goal and Germania. Okay, so we're gonna go uh, our designation names here for worlds in uh, Yeah, designation for worlds here is the old names of uh, old count or old names of countries. So Yeah, expect that uh, I'll probably have to do a little bit research on naming the planets But that's the naming convention that I'm going or the naming rules here right now on this uh, role play uh, Which one is this? Oh, Weiyu. Um, of course, this is uh, some sort of a base, if I recall correct. So we have shipyards in the core area. So we're going to upgrade this one as well to serve as a shipyard. But this one will serve as a base. Um, trade station and anchorage. And uh, yeah, all that... Uh, Oh, okay. Uh, this is uh, interesting that the new uh, uh, new feature of a starship. You can build armies not only on planets but also on the star bases. So uh, kind of interesting, to be honest. So anyway, uh, yeah. So for now, uh, we're doing we're gonna go a little bit faster here. So we'll just build some mining stations. Uh, rapid strike team. So we're just gonna upgrade this guys. Construction complete. Okay, uh, that's good. So how about fleet manager? Let's check out our fleet. System survey complete. Okay, so uh, I hope that my uh that my uh, gameplay here will not be, ships have been improved. okay that's good uh, pause for a second uh, we could go for yeah we'll go for hyper drives okay let's pause this one Okay, green lights all the way. We have our first contact with this one. And we have another archaeological site. But we'll just order our scientist here, Ilma Zvun, to keep on digging. The floor is lava. Oh. 
Okay, what was that? Well, anyway, uh... Okay, so, uh... Well, okay, let's continue on our gameplay here. So we'll just move our uh, construction ship here. Okay, so we got an event, abandoned cargo pod. Upper atmosphere is required. It is somehow escaped the mound. Uh, orbit demands it. A stash of alien jewelry made out of precious metals. Huh, what could melt them on? Let's study their construction. It might give us some sort of uh Okay. Right, uh what's this? Idle leaders. Well we have one reserved leader which is a scientist. Construction complete. Okay, what's Construction this? Construction complete. All right, Nordak's gonna be a shipyard. Okay, we're going to do some mining there. So there. Um, hopefully, um, we have enough resources here to get along. Right, traditions available. Uh, Ship fire rate or orbital bombardment plus 20. I think this would be much more uh, effective. The Admiral Leader cost and Admiral Upkeep will be reduced by 10%. So there. Uh, rapid Strike Team again will have to be... Um, I'm not sure if this is a bug or something. Construction complete. Well, the ship designer uh, haven't changed. Okay, through our surveys, yeah, okay, excellent. It's not really a big deal. Um, also, one more thing I would like to uh, mention here, as usual for rules, again, every 30 minutes I have to save my uh, gameplay here. Our ships have been improved. Yep, okay, so at least it's now improved or uh, should be improved but we can now add at least uh, 40 of our frigates here on command so I better go check on fleet management so there uh, right uh, system survey complete okay we'll have to probably build an outpost here just outpost unfortunately because we lack the population right now Although we have already reached 72 pops, I'm still figuring out how large <laughs> our pop can carry. I think it's limited only to 200 or something. Construction complete. Right. Um, okay, let's do some research stations with that. Construction complete. Okay, so we had a Atinyaki. Which influenced Gate 25. The diviners think the beings floating through the dark Tianki. They are a sacred and peaceful spaceborne life form that roams from system to system, feeding on gay gases common to the upper layers of many gas giants and rarely showing any signs of hostility. Okay, we best uh, keep. Uh, our attempts to establish communications stand testament to our technological ingenuity. Okay. Right, um, this one will just probably be waiting to assign. So probably the first alias we turned out was basically just a space tip Tian key on, uh, you know, getting uh, strayed from Earth. So Construction complete. Okay. Alright, I'll go extra. Oh, I need... 
Okay, uh, we'll probably have to do mining stations here. I think we got a farm world here if I recall correct. Let me check. Empire capital is... Uh, yeah, okay. Um, we got an industrial world, we got a mining world. Um, yeah, basically we'll just build two, two more and then three of them. And then... Uh, okay, I guess we lack the technology with this one. For Germania, it's an industrial world, so one of these and uh, one of these. For Goal, um, it's an industrial world as well, but Wallachia is basically an agricultural world. Wait, both of these, we got one mining world. Yeah, agriculture will be this one. Has a lot of... Uh, you know stuff for agriculture or a lot of districts available right construction complete okay that's good so we're just gonna go for this one wait oh it's also investigating okay take us uh, take our time that's not really a big issue on Earth, uh, we got one space vacant. We'll probably go with this one. Or, uh, yeah, we kind of lack of food. Complete. Okay, Xeno Justice. Basically, they're more like, uh, you know, uh, mm -hmm. lovers of uh, Xenos. Okay, one unemployed pop. But we got a city district here in mining district, so. So our progress of discovery is quite a bit Construction slow. Construction complete. Right, minor artifacts. Ways recently gave way, sending several of archaeologists stumbling down a small chasm. Fortunately, they did not emerge on They fortunately they not only emerged on harm from the incident, but they also found several minor artifacts. Okay, that's uh, quite good. The relics screen allows us to view and activate our relics, and also to enact decisions making use of minor artifacts. Okay, we could go celebrate diversity, but that's not exactly our thing here. We could. Proceed to religious revelation, which will grant unity for us for 600. And maybe a little bit of, uh, yeah, okay. Yep, that will give us a traditions available. So we only need at least two years for another one, so we could get another ascension perk. So that's good. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. All right, so we got now a worker uh, robots. Robot pops are only capable of worker jobs. Yeah, of course. So uh, we're gonna go for at least a destroyer would be nice. So we're gonna implement robots right now just to... Uh, yeah, all of them will uh, be production of robots. Once uh, work is uh, finished here, we're not gonna go. F uh, yeah, yeah, we'll just uh, do that later. Unfortunately, most of the planets complete. here that are uh, nearby is basically uninhabitable or not suitable. The faithful have claimed a new world. Okay, so Walikia is now ready. This is will be designed as um, supposed to be a design for an agri, ag agri world. So two of these. 
Okay, um... What the? Okay, so I'm just gonna buy tons of this. And I'm gonna build a robot facility first, just, just to help out. Um, right. Okay, that should do the trick. So there. Uh, we're doing good now on our, uh... So our shipyards is six, we're doing maximum. What's this? Uh, yeah, of course, um... Okay, fine, I'm... Oh, wait. That's my bad. We're not gonna go for robot assembly plants, we're gonna go for clone bats. So was this? Clone bat capacity. So how many clone bat capacity do we have? Empire limit is 4 out of 5. So, okay, this is the last one. And then the rest will probably be droids. Okay. Uh, we have them. Uh, what's this? By utilizing the pet aliens. Using hexagonal design from numerical R mathematicians and linguists are on the verge of colorful language breakthrough with the pre aliens officials are preparing the list of first con. We know that their culture is vast, the potential risk for mere understanding. Now we must decide if we should appeal to their sense of logic or with emotions. So it's November 22, so two years have already uh, passed. Uh huh. Diplomacy is an emotional culture. So contact them in a song. Uh, keep emotion out. We'll contact them with a song and see if how will they react. But in the meantime, while we're contacting with the song, we should build up our military because they may grab. It would be foolish because uh, we will not be militarily not prepared because they might, you know, uh, eat clones and spit their bones out. So, yeah, I think it's fairly reasonable that we should also be. Okay, we got another situation again. We have picked up readings of an unknown nature. The signal seems to follow some kind of repeating syntax which could indicate sapient origin. It could be investigated further. They seem to be concentrated around a single space station. Though it is unclear whether the form parts of the largest being Okay, proceed. Okay, first contact reading. Excellent. Uh, our efforts of connecting to an emotional level with we have grown fruitful. Our linguists demonstrate understanding of their culture, and as a result, we have been warmly received. Mission accomplished with Pete Penny. Okay, excellent. Communications protocols have been established. We can now engage in diplomacy with this empire. Their current opinion of us depends on how first contact was conducted. Okay, so we met. Uh, I don't know, a bunch of rocks named Tiziru Kingdom. Greetings, which is they're basically an authoritarian but pacifist. So okay, they're not gonna be our problems because they're pacifists. Greetings from the Tiziru Kingdom. We are a peaceful nation, justly ruled by our beloved Queen Huk Oktekrek. Oh god, that's a mouthful. Whatever grievances might arise between our people in the future, we hope that they can be settled through dialogue rather than violence. Okay, praise the divine for this meeting. Okay, so we got a peaceful neighbor up north, I guess. Which is kind of good. So uh, at least it's less uh, problematic on our part, but we're kind of in the border with them. System survey complete. Not exactly a uh, a good day to make neighbors, but uh, okay. Uh, we'll just set some triple, uh, I guess, star base here. Okay, this is interesting. Toy factory. There are structures of Zier through though most of them less fruits and more akin to rubble. The RHS John Wolden initial pass over the plant reveals 
only one building that can be considered intact, seemingly spared whatever calamity involves your buildings in this building. This is a source of noise. Okay, so it's a toy factory. Some sort of tuning class in polymers. Okay, perhaps we should establish a foothold and observe. Yeah, I think an outpost would be uh, would be reasonable with that. Oh, what's this? Uh, we began to pick up more visual images of aliens known as Kappa aliens. They basically look like a... I don't know, they look like uh, some sort of insect. It was inevitable that they would look eventually be the the this never ah sorry it was inevitable that this would eventually be leaked to the wider public. Their appearance has proven delightful to the replicant public who are now impatient to make their closer quen Okay. Well good. Uh so we're now detecting a lot of neighbors on our second uh uh second episode of our playthrough. Uh, kind of and at this early I guess okay well that's okay as long as they're not starting war so T0 will not be our problem on the north on the east we won't have any also Special problems project complete. oh what's this interfacing with clone bats so okay this is an eventual story mode on 23 uh, 222 or 2223 but that's not exactly the exact timeline I probably add 20,000 uh, May 5 or February 5 I don't know or May, f May 2nd we've uh, interfaced with the agent clone bats by the tenacity of our scientists the cipher found within the ancient cloning bats has been decoded protocol notwithstanding an overly eager lead science officer has activated the key it contained a message from the past echoes on screens okay proceed i am burdened by guilt i cannot imagine what paths had to lead but surely not the mercy of my brethren i helped create you to serve and for that i am sorry i cannot take back what is done but I can help you open your future. Although you are deserving of more, I offer you two paths. To undo the changes that made you sterile and finally set you free to evolve and prosper. That is one. Uh, and the other is to further unlock your potential but strain your genes to their limits. Sealing future generations to be forever be dependent on technolo technology for reproduction. So basically, here's the thing. If Earth falls, um, the clones die as well. But uh, it would be more beneficial if we are... we. Okay, special issues from the clone potential. Situation log updated. Okay, uh, there's a lot going on here. So we got the gamma aliens, but uh, right now we have a situation log here, which is a genetic crossroads. Uh, the hidden biocode cipher left by one of our creators within the ancient clone bats revealed to us two paths to reclaim our fertility and forego the path of our strength, or to have forever forsake natural reproduction to reach further genetic heights. Well, we could be stronger and faster. But in the sense that they are forever at the mercy of the cloning bats. Oh. And clone fertility, which means turns into a clone soldier descendant, less efficient but fertile and stable enough for genetic modification. Uh, this one, uh, soldier ascendant, more efficient but forever infertile and unresponsive for further genetic modification. Well, humanity wants us to either give us two of these, but ancient text says that we should be uh, fruitful and multiply. So I'm going to apply with the clone fertility thing, since we're already having some problems as well with the, uh, you know, occupying occupation here. So it is uh, a big, uh, what do you call this? Uh, it is a big, uh, it's a big, uh, well, it's a big decision. So I'm going to consult the uh, first one moment. So anyway, it coincides that it's already break, uh, 30 minutes break. So we're just going to go with this one. 
This is HRE episode 02, letter A. Okay, and I'm going to say this on OBS and I will consult or at least uh, do a little study which is better here with this one. Hello everyone and welcome back. So I did a little bit of research and uh, consulting. Actually, I just uh, <laughs> type uh, some messages here on chat GPT just to see if well, what will the computer um, what will the computer or chat GPT will choose. Well, apparently the computer, the chat GPT here chose this one, clone fertility available. So why? Well, according to the chat, it says here clones that are less efficient but fertile and stable for genetic modification offer a strategic advantage and long-term vision. This choice allows for continuous adaptation and improvement over time. Fertile clones can be modified to enhance traits, address weaknesses, or respond to changing circumstances, providing the clone army with greater flexibility and resilience in the face of evolving challenges. This approach aligns with a long-term vision that prioritizes adaptability and sustained superiority. So, okay, we're going to uh, choose that because, well, uh, oh, wait, uh, apparently uh, we're going to choose that because that the chat GPT uh, told us so. <laughs> Actually, uh, I could go for potential available, but we're going to go for logic and long-term sustainability here. So, go. So we're gonna research this one, clone fertility. So lore-wise, uh, it will be now shifted to clone uh, fertility on 22-23-05 uh, or May 5, May 2nd or February 2nd. I'm just gonna check. Oh, it's May 5. Okay. So anyway, um, there we go. So I'm just gonna have to put on a title for that on this episode or our playthrough. Okay, on uh, May 29, crew has succeeding isolating a signal in body use inter. The signal is a song, a complex sonification. Hmm. Who are my. Okay, curious. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. So we already have industrial district. This is an industrial world. Um, we do have low crime rate because this is a clone arm. So I would go probably for. Consumer goods into unity or amenities. Uh, right, uh, we could go for temple or Otakian monument first. Otakian monument first, then we go for temple. Okay, uh, there we go. So, Germania is. Oh, wait, this is Earth, right? Oh, no, Germania. Germania is a mining colony. So, we could. I don't know, maybe go for trade or something. Uh, right. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, I forgot one thing. We should. I would. Uh, we're not gonna go for a Tokyo monument for a while. We're gonna go for robotics. Fortunately, I lack the minerals, so uh, yeah, we're gonna solve that one. Okay, so we're uh, yeah, that's I guess that's the more problem. We keep losing pops here, so I think that's the logical and sensible choice. They may be less stronger, but they are more uh, you know more fertile. So basically. Uh, the gods or the humanity has brought them a gift which is basically fertility okay we're gonna add our fleet here so we'll just well there's no we're not considering the uh the zero kingdom here of threat so uh yeah uh we could we risk losing the information we have previously gathered about them as intel becomes stale over time yeah, of course. Um, yeah, we're gonna send uh, uh, we're gonna send a diplomat here for Tizaru. So our only problem right now here is our southern neighbors. We may or may not encounter anything that would be considered uh, a threat to a clone uh, empire, but uh, 
let's see how it goes anyway. So for the moment, we're kind of lacking of minerals. We're going to go with the uh, robot assembly plants here. Alright, so uh, we got some uh, event here. Any other rock, the Lava Lavern Expedition has finally returned. Having reached the innermost chamber, the purpose of the Magnesium Complex has finally revealed. The Lavern serve as a providing ground for the body, not for the body, but as much as the mind. There is a phrase in the native language scrolled repeatedly in their inner sanctum. The translation reads, the for, for, for uh, something will be last. Nothing will withstand the rebirth. However, that means it seems that a few of the those who survived this deadly pilgrims chose to return to the surface after reading it instead giving themselves to the rivers of fire oh well uh okay that's really something to be honest oh wait i'm having some error here okay fine uh all right let's continue on with our uh playthrough sessions here Okay, so artifacts here are now be are now uh, mineable. So we have three here. So we got um, two other planets here, an Arctic and a desert world. But is it connected to this one? I don't know. But we're just gonna keep this one vacant. So we won't uh, incur the wrath of the pit of Until not unle uh, unless not that the uh, replicant empire is ready to face them. After successfully translating their language, we have a start. Okay. An there. alien empire now speaks to us in the language of the divine. Okay, so we got a singing uh, cricket. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, yeah, I know this is kind of funny, but... Uh, Okay, so uh, that concludes our. Uh, so we're gonna establish embassy with them. Um, we gotta go for improved relations. So Sapra Toros will be our ambassador there. In the meantime, we're gonna contact our uh, cricket neighbors here. Well, we're gonna give them patron because mostly art is, uh, you know, it always leads to religious stuff like God, uh, if you notice. Uh, I mean, in humanity, uh, in ancient human history, we always uh, associated art with something that is divine. So we're gonna go this one with the patron. It's a D. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, well, that's. Uh, yeah, it's a deal. Okay, and we're gonna commission an art. Okay, so, uh, well met. So we're gonna commission an art here. Um, because, uh, yep, so that basically adds our, uh, well, uh, art to the Empire Capital here. In the meantime, we have a bunch of clones here who... Well, we got a good pool of clones here for leadership. Um, but uh, we're currently, uh, you know, on a limit. So we got a robot assembly plant. Um, well, we could build a trade thing or something. Might help boost up... Uh, Okay, by uh, May 18, 2224, a formal diplomatic uh, embassy is established with the Tiziru along with its first ambassador. Okay. And we could expand our borders here. So we could build a star base. Oh, yeah, I forgot. So we're gonna go for the normal speed as usual. Alright. Oh! God, what happened here? Malikia just died out. 
Okay, fine. We're gonna send another colony again. Yeah, that happens when the rest of the clones just died out. So that's a, a bad part. We can't really hold colonies without uh, a sustainable population. Alright, we got a great game. That's good. We're now allowed to have a second ascension perk, which is... Uh, we could go for a mercenary enclave, but... Uh, Well, one vision. Hmm. Realistic enigmatic engineering. We could go for technological ascendancy, but unity here is more on the most recent, in uh, you know, iterations of uh, Stellaris DLC. Unity is given priority, so we'll go for one vision. There. All right. Uh, let's proceed. So for now, uh, Special project complete. things are pretty quiet. So we do not have any... Uh, okay, what is this? Protests are spiring across gold. These are large colorful assemblies gathered in support of singular previous issues. The right to hold public dances inside financial institution to which colors would be pink? our defense platforms. These protests are not violent, but they are noisy. Some of the civic services in Gould have been placed under strain by the disruption. Uh huh. Situation log updated. Okay, we'll, we'll take this uh, considerably serious. But there's nothing much I can do about it. There's only an event. Okay, so uh, as a theocratic uh, empire or theocratic dictatorship, we will not tolerate this, uh, you know, insubordination thing by the uh, clones. So in the meantime, our Jal Katzeman Corvette fleet here. Alright. Uh... The protests and goal have ceased almost suddenly as they began. Rumors about their origin. We're gonna arrest them. Although it's gonna cost us our uh, unity here. Yeah, well, we can't tolerate any disunity or insubordination, so we're gonna arrest them. Any protest will be crushed in the. Well, I'm just saying in the role play or in any government that isn't a theocratic dictatorship. Like for example, the Middle East, any form of slightest protest could be, well, will be effectively crushed, especially, uh, you know, uh, a dictatorship one, like this one, for example. But anyway, this is a role play. So, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, incidentally, uh, we have a proclaimed religious revelation which is coming from the humans. So we could put this one uh, on the roleplay, the reason why uh, the Replicant Empire received a message. Okay. System survey complete. Alright, so uh, everything is doing good. So we'll just go one by one. Our expansion will probably go in south. Can't really expand on uh, east west because we're kind of well, we're kind of you know at the edge of the galaxy. Okay, our efforts to apprehend the members of Manifesti proved it difficult. Okay, so the religious police are having some problems, but have now yielded. Okay, proved it difficult, but now we. Once the slew of sympathetic pretenders could be sorted from actual instigators, all manifesting activities stop. A great deal of public scrutiny is now coming to bear on our attitudes towards censorship. Not least because this movement had encouraged such liberal thinking, nevertheless there had been a marked decline in vandalism and other civil distractions. Yeah. We cannot tolerate uh, anything that will deface the uh, religious image of the government yeah and let's continue our gameplay here
Okay, let's check this out. Oh, aliens were referred to Gamma and seem to have laid claim to the Wildor system. Where's the Wildor? Oh my god, Wildor system. Um, I have no idea what's Wildor. I'll probably type that out. Wildor. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, this one. Okay, so it seems that there's some sort of hostility going on. We prefer the Gamma Aliens seem to have laid claim to the Wildor system. At least a one large star base in orbit. We have not seen any evidence of planetary bastions. No, we do not yet know. These beings could be favored spirits or depraved servants of darkness. Which, yeah. So there seems to be hostilities. So we're gonna deploy our rapid strike fleet and then reinforce them. Same time we have our, uh, what do you call this? Our. Uh, well, our religious uh, army here, or the replicant, holy replicant army. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this is getting me a bit intense. These are unknown space-bearing entities. We can learn more about them and maybe even initiate first contact by completing the appropriate special project. Okay, I have no idea what's this one. But we could get a little bit of uh Yeah, we could just uh put it like this one, so I'm gonna need about at least 20, 30 second footage of this. So we could properly record uh you know for playthrough sessions. Okay, so I guess that's enough. Okay, understood. Uh, right. So in the meantime, just to prevent, uh, to have security, we'll just have this one. Okay. We are spreading our faith to a new world. Uh, right. So colonization of uh, Wallachia is now resuming again. Uh, hopefully we'll have a stable population there or something. Uh, how's the genetic crossroad research? Construction complete. Progress is about 31 per month, so what does that lead us? Share a close orbit around the Panyakia system's primary charge of plasma field extends well into the atmosphere of these gestures. Uh, this unique environment serves as a breeding ground. Yeah, we've already had that. So our science uh, vessel. Okay, how about the uh, head of technology? I'm not sure how long this will take, but we're just halfway through. Okay, in the meantime, uh. Yeah, we all got this whole sector for ourselves, so that's okay with this. Right. So we're just gonna reinforce more of our fleet here. Just in case some uh, tensions rose between this... Uh, Uh, we could have some, uh... Anyway, um... We're good on that. Okay, what's this? We began to pick up more and more visual images of the aliens known as Gamma Aliens. It was inevitable that this would eventually be leaked to the wider public again. Their appearance has provoked widespread dismay amongst our populace who have taken the describing them as repulsive weeds. Okay, so they're plant-like. Already, many are demanding that we take action to deal with this new plantoid threat. Uh... 
So since we're gonna offer them religious, uh, I don't know, xenophobe. Well, we we have peaceful neighbors on the north, so. But okay, we're gonna go with so shall we be. So we have some xenoph. Oh, and they're hostile. So okay, yeah. They're actually more like group or something here. They're tree like. System survey complete. But anyway, that's a cause of also a worry because they look like trees. So we have to pump out a lot of our corvette fleets here. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, our fleets are already on standby there. Um, regarding on fleet designers, we still have only have a corvette. We don't have any destroyers. Uh, wait, wait. Well, we only have a reactor booster. But, uh, that's it. So, okay, let's, uh, start the home base the spirits have granted us new wisdom okay okay let me, i forgot to set a home base for the uh, rapid strike fleet here um okay we're just gonna have uh our s home base should be here i guess mm -hmm. so that we could immediately uh you know far away from uh what's this company potential mm -hmm. Well, we could get a science vessel here, I guess. But all of the science vessels seems to be uh, busy doing their thing. Okay, but anyway, we have technology uh, research here. Hyperlane breach points. So we have the Hyperdrive 2 now. Uh, planetary FDL, this is more of defense, yeah. I think we could uh, reach that just to uh, make sure that they don't, uh, you know, they don't. Uh so yeah, I guess it would be strategically should be placed here, Alpine World. Yeah, right. We lack the. Uh Yes, um, what's the tr good name for this one? I'm just gonna check my uh, old, uh, uh, you know, my iPad here for old uh, country names, I guess. <coughs> so just give me a moment here. Old nation names. Uh, okay, what's a nice name here? Uh, Benadir. Okay, that's nice. So we're gonna go for Benadir. So Benadir is basically an old name for the coastal region of Somalia. So it's an old, well actually it's an old name of Somalia. So okay, that's, uh, that we're okay with that. So Benadir. Uh, food in two months, that's not good. So uh, yeah. Yeah, Wallachia was... Uh, well, let's just say that uh, the population died out and uh, before any robots could be processed. So during its survey, uh, crystal deposits, okay. Yeah, we, we could be producing robots now. Uh, but strange, we don't have any robots yet, even on the species. The list. species screen lists all types of nominally intelligent beings we have in. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, let's just proceed with that. Uh huh. Okay, we got the robot details. What's this? Small enough to combat droids. Okay. Uh, no, we're gonna reinforce them right now. We need them more, but yeah, okay, nor dock. All right.
right, so uh Alright, uh we, we have a contact with the trees now. Our attempts to learn more of the gamma areas are so far in vain. Well, further facts that are proven elusive as they seem to be considerable effort prove us of any eavesdroppers. Okay, small fragments of language over. However, the glimpses we have gleam, our linguists are confident that they will be able to decipher their communications if we can just acquire a greater sample size. So, uh, we could, we must find out their secret. Secrets. They were shooting. Yeah, they're already mad at us. Well, so, what, what are we gonna lose? So, we're gonna hack them. See what they're gonna say. In the meantime. <laughs> Let's, uh, yeah, let's hack them. So for now, um, oh, unfortunately, our starbase capacity has already increased. Yeah, this is not very good. Uh, we could disassemble this one. Um, yeah, uh, we'll see what happens. They haven't declared war yet. But we're continuing to militarize and strengthen our uh, fleet here. So that's really a nice name. Strike Fleet. Okay, so they just made a discovery about a diamond star. But uh, not our concern right now. Oh wait, what do we have here? Okay, we got a new... Uh, Edict here that we're going to choose. Hmm. Aptitude. I don't know what aptitude does. Becoming one of the revenant leaders of the empire. It's mostly leadership, I guess. Discovery, harmony, domination, enmity. I don't know what's this one. Can never stop so fast that the other replicas are setting the pace. Ah, pop growth. Pop assembly. Well, we got state, which is mostly politics. State, craft, and politics. What does the diff... Cancel agenda. This is mostly internal, but the same thing here. I think this is redundant. Go for psionics. Um, cybernetics, unyielding. For now, since we're under at war right now, there's a possibility that uh, there might be an attack. So we're gonna go for this one, unyielding. Cancel agenda available. It's uh, best def best offense and best defense type of a. Uh. Okay, council has unlocked. Evolving society. Minister defense and is keeper of the vaults. Basically, keeper of. Um, well, I, I've already developed a name for this one. I'm just gonna check on my uh, old uh, conversations here. Um, just give me a moment here. Uh, wait, I'm just gonna ask the computer, so just give me a second here. But anyway, it's already 30 minutes, so I am just going to save this one. So this will be... HRE episode 02 letter B so we still got an hour to go there we go and I'm going to save this one again on the OBS hello everyone so welcome back so we uh, yeah I kind of researched it a while ago uh, about what should be the name instead of keeper of the vaults well actually keeper of the vaults is much easier uh, it's more um, it's more like, uh, well, instead of, key, yeah, I guess we'll, that we'll just name it. But actually, it should be named Great Human Library. So we're just going to change this one. But uh, let's just go name it in Latin, Magnifi, uh, Magnifica. Oh, uh, I don't know. We'll just call it the Great Library or something great library of humanity so we, we, just to avoid all that jargon stuff 
So, same thing. Oh, well, yeah, it's a title anyway. So, we're just gonna keep this one the name. It's not exactly, uh, we're just gonna go call this one Head Archivist. Which is basically, uh, her main duties is basically, he, she's the keeper of human knowledge. So, she's the head archivist. Uh, head of research. Yeah, science department for short. Minister of Defense, yeah. Uh, we'll just gonna name this one. Instead of head research, we're gonna name this one chief scientist. Chief scientist. Same goes to this one, just to avoid that all that jargon stuff. Chief scientists okay yeah defense minister yeah we already have that so there we go um, let's continue on with our playthrough sessions here so we got I do I still need more council positions here um, we should check our fate we must find uh, impenetrable border, opposition, military build up, preserve. What reorganize? Allows reselection of unlocked council positions. Expand the council. Oh, okay. So, what this means? <sighs> okay, for now, we're gonna go for military build up, unfortunately. What's this one? Okay, we'll just let them do what they want. But uh, I'm gonna have an extra, you know, more like a religious uh, council here. System survey complete. Okay, we'll have one. Um, uh, my. Okay, so we got an event on 22-27. Um, I think this is June, right? Yeah, June. June 1st. Uh, here's the event. Singing Planet. What do we find? Should we did a deliberate attempt by communication has turned out to be an unusual but natural occurring uh, phenomenon. The magnetic waves uh, produced by the planet given proper handling and editing may sound a bit like talking or even singing but they are in no way created by a thinking being. Some of our scientists, however, find it quite catchy. It might be possible to use this phenomenon possibly by an artist or relaxing music. Okay. Yeah, and I thought it was another uh, event that is important. Uh, for now, I lack... So we'll just buy some extra. Our here. ships have been improved. Governor... Minister of Defense won't go serve with the Empire for 28 years. Step it down to become an educator. Okay, so what does that mean? There's an open council position. So we'll probably add a general here. Capitalist and spycraft. Final order another general or an admiral. Uh... What's this? Ship fire ship upkeep. Ship fire ship upkeep is negative ten. Okay, we're just gonna hire with this one. So we got a new minister of defense here, Admiral Von Thor. For duty, honor, and glory. Okay, whatever. Uh, what's this? You know, it's kind of funny considering that this is a dictatorial government, but uh, they kind of, you know, uh, they kind of, uh, what do you call this? They kind of, you know, step out from their position. So it's supposed to be the position should be for life for every dicta dictatorial government, but uh, okay. Well, anyway, probably it's all okay. So, uh.
Okay, so probably I guess it's only applicable to the uh, head of state there. It doesn't apply to any other members of the council. So, uh, yeah, okay, well, let's proceed with our uh, recorded playthrough right here again. System survey complete. Well, we have 52 ships available, so sooner we'll probably have to uh, build. Uh, anyway, we'll build an outpost here somewhere. The council have claimed a new world. Okay, we're gonna go for reinforce the fleet. And uh, some were worried at the incursion of unknown alien vessels in our space. It was not clear until how much of a threat the gamma alien. It seems they sent a covert force to intercept one of our cargo vessels into our rail system. Okay, so uh, it's already escalating. We can only imagine what tortures the crew will suffer at the hands of their captors. Oh, intercept one of our cargoes. Okay, so this is really an incident. Worrying. <laughs> Um Well we've already retired so we could recruit one guy here. Yep. We'll rival the stars. Okay, yeah, okay, whatever. Uh-huh. So we're gonna create a new fleet here for the fleet management because uh, well it seems that there's gonna be a new threat unfortunately. So uh, right and uh, there's an incident here on the gamma vessels. Our ships have been improved. Okay. Space going creature encountered. Is currently attempting to. Okay, so. Right, uh. Eremus. Well. They're more like drones from the looks of it. Yeah, automated drones. So, okay, I thought it was, uh. So, we'll better send our fleet here. Um, would be best. So for now, we have already uh, one full strength fleet. So we have to... Uh, we're still capable to support 52 uh, corvette fleets here. So we have to... Ha uh, we can also serve at least half fleets. Okay, um, that's okay. So for now... Um, well, tensions are really high right now. Okay, we're gonna create a star base here. Oh, great. I have 28. That's upgrade 74. So we're just gonna sell some stuff here. So we got the. Uh, yeah, problems right now. Okay, so we gotta have to have clone vats first. Um, I'm sure we should have, and then robots, and then, um, okay, yeah, so we're probably struggling with the population now, and our, uh, construction ready. complete, okay, we got a new council agenda, um, Launch cancel agenda. Evolving society. So uh, our next uh, agenda should be faith. Actually, we're gonna go for militarization build up right now. Things are getting really tense. So uh, policies. Uh, we got unity good right now. Uh, veneration of the saints. Hmm. 
Yeah, okay, right now we're just gonna go for that. We're not gonna change anything. System survey complete. Okay. That's good. So we're just gonna go for mining stations here. And right now, uh, we're having some problems with food and energy. Okay. Yes, food is 12 months. That's not a really good, if you ask me. So I'm just gonna sell this one. Who would like to donate? Yeah, okay, fine. Well met, so we're just gonna sell a few of these. And uh, let's check our planets here. Okay, features. Oh. Okay, so pretty much everything is... Uh, um, right. So okay, any anyway, let's continue. So there are tensions mapping on the southern border, so we have to rearm uh, almost. Uh, Special project complete. Okay, by 2228, timely enough. Uh, September 2nd, uh, our fertility is reclaimed, and the first batch of new replicants has seen the light of day. They will forever change our future with children of their own, forcing our society to change and adapt with them. The need for the ancient clone bands is passed. A decision has been made by the uh, Ecclesiarchy to strip them of anything that can be researched further. What is left will be recycled and put to use elsewhere. Okay, so they are now freed from... Uh, freed from... Uh, what do you call this? Uh, from reproduction on those tech. And... Uh, so the first of it... Uh, general we have is the monarch Vec and at the same time uh, it's they consider it as a uh, uh, yeah they consider it to be a gift from the gods well humanity to be specific but for now um, we need to we got more pressing matters aside from that we have to build up a fleet so in to prevent any invasion from those uh, well they call it weeds we call it trees so that will give us a good boost of uh, curvette fleet so uh, and they consider now themselves the children of humanity yeah I think that would be the more uh, appropriate tame, uh, word for it matriarch sapra vegan Okay, so, uh, well, she's a dictator, so she can pretty much, you know, spin some words to convince the general public with that. And on my part, I'm going to think of a title on this episode on how... So, the clone vats have already been, uh, smashed. Uh, we'll probably replace this one with administrative, I guess. Or... Well, we got a precinct house actually. Uh, right. Okay, we're gonna go for. Uh, we need minerals, but we need also. Yeah, we're gonna go for. Ah oh, no, uh, we're not gonna go for robots. Mm, we got some temples already, so we don't need. We have to replace another one. So, um, we'll probably go for trade. And Germania, um, only got trade. Uh, it's a mining colony, so we should have at least some sort of temple. Yeah, we're just gonna replace them with temple. Robot assembly and then provide this one with temple. So at the same time, we can also expand right now for further develop. Uh, for we can expand our colonies now since we have a stable population. So, uh, yeah.
so our rapid strike fleet is already ready here. Okay, joint expeditionary fleet. So who's going to lead with this guy? Construction complete. Okay, uh, we're just gonna get Admiral. Uh, well, he's a clone. She's a clone descendant, so she's quite a bit of a teenager, to be honest. So there. Uh, we'll just put our fleet here. Now for Earth. System survey complete. Uh, Vault of Knowledge. So this is the Vault of Humanity. Uh, empire limit is one is to one, the only one of its kind. So, uh, we got one temple. Uh, we're gonna go for a resource silo, I guess. Or, wait, we got a commercial zone. So, we're gonna replace this one with, uh, yeah, probably we'll go for entertainment. And stronghold. Yeah, I forgot one thing. Uh, every every uh, planet should have a stronghold just to boost up the naval capacity. Uh, okay, perfectionist. A spark of genius would be nice. Yeah, we should not go for temple. Uh, hold that thing for a while. No temples for, for a moment. What we're going to do is basically um, strongholds just to keep up with the growing threat of those uh, talking trees. So there, we should have a stable or uh, na enough naval capacity to hold uh, two large uh, fleets here. Your success were able to hack the gamma. Okay. So we're going to hack them now. So uh, we have the uh, I don't know the religious police are also working on it because they uh, have now uh, you know we have now competition down the south. Okay, we'll just go with this one and then uh, this area. We'll just uh, occupy that. So for now, our stronghold should be here. Uh, okay, what's this? Uh, thanks to the efforts made, uh, you secure data of language translate language to the aliens. While our master of our language, it is 2229. While well, master of language is complete, we have now managed to clear an open diplomatic channel with the similar. We now know the Lila Rubian new ascensionist. We're able to. Okay, on screen. So we're also able to steal some technical data, which is reactor boosters. An alien empire now speaks to us in the language of the divine. Okay, so they're also a mega church. So ruthless capitalists. They're xenophobe, but they're spiritualists. You hack into us, you call us friends. Huh. Blasphemous will burn, Xeno heretics. So I kinda for once I kinda like that how the way it sounds. So the first interstellar religious wars will uh, probably happen with this. So we got now extra starbase capacity. So we could uh we we'll probably turn this one, but for now, fortunately, uh, right. This is a bit of a difficult decision for me right now. So we have to buy more food again. Okay, but uh, how is Wallachia doing? Well, we got an agriculture or so. Uh, yeah, this will negatively impact the food. But, uh... We'll manage with this one. So, 
So we have now a food shortage, unfortunately, aside from the military buildup. Through the claims interface, we can spend in. Yeah, yeah, we're not gonna go through that. Oh, it seems that they the already set a border here. Us new wisdom. Okay, we got now a new destroyer. Or uh, a dis technical knowledge for destroyers. Uh, for now, we need... Uh, we're kind of plenty of mining stations right now, so we're gonna go for destroyer build cost here. Um, let's see our... Uh, fleet manager here and ship designers about the destroyers uh, uh, they're not really that uh okay so uh that's it um we probably have to create our fleet management here for a destroyer fleet uh create new basically a destroyer fleet uh yeah command fleet 50 so we got two frigates or corvette fleet uh, yeah speaking of which why don't we ha oh we don't have frigates here but corvettes and this okay that's okay it's leveled up uh veteran leader trait i don't know what's the perk for this counselor uh, you should focus on physics Okay. Critical Construction shortage. Construction complete. Yeah. Uh. Right. So we'll just go build the mining stations here. Construction complete. Okay. Uh, I guess our military base here. Is there already? Um, okay. Right. Um, okay. So uh, we've already popped up a defense here because uh, things are probably system survey complete. Uh, defense are gonna be probably be very hot with this. Uh, I should also upgrade this one as well. We still got enough uh anyway uh what we have here uh. okay defensive seal so alpine world we'll probably have to build this one as a fortress planet to the south in the meantime we're still solving our uh let me check on my planets here. Uh, expansion. In the expansion planner, we find nearby habitable planets that may present opportunities for colonization. We can build colony ships and issue them orders directly from this screen. Okay, series two is basically. Okay, we'll just colonize this one. Uh, right, we lack the tech. Well, we're just gonna name this one. This planet. Uh, uh, what do you call this? Generator, uh, generator. So it's just only a marking for designation if I'm going to make a generator world. So I won't get confused uh, on the last minute. So we got the rapid strike fleet and the strategic readiness fleet in case uh, bad stuff happens here. Okay, we have now uh, on our limit 67. Um, okay, one more thing uh, about the expansion plan. I'd like to. Uh, what's another planet here? Oh, Tropical World. Bethanor. Oh, down south. But unfortunately, we have to take this one as well. Yeah, I think we could. Um, I think we could send. 
one of our construction ships to clean this one so we can, you know, cut them off. Yeah, I think that's a that's a reasonable, uh, you know, a reasonable uh, construction complete. A reasonable. Uh, wait, wait. I'll just go ahead with this one. Um, I'm just gonna stop this one. Um, this one should be here because it's nearest. And this guy, well, he could make a uh, star base here. So it's already 30 minutes again, so I have to save this. Um, this will be HRE episode 02, letter C. So we got at least 30 minutes more before we end this uh, recorded playthrough sessions. But I'm going to save this one on OBS first. Okay, there we go. So we've already saved that on our uh, OBS. So uh, let's continue for our final 30 minutes of this, uh, you know. Oh, God, they also have... Well, this was unexpected. The faithful have claimed a new world. They also have... Uh, they also have uh, some sort of planets here or some sort. Okay, um, since we're just gonna go for this one, and this will be auto-designed as a fortress world. No, no, no. Fortress world. Uh, we'll be probably produce this one. And then three of these. And three of these. Okay, and, uh, yeah, I guess that'll be enough. Okay. So we're building our defenses here on the border, so we to prevent any enclosures of. Uh, we'll recycle what we can. This is tropical world. Uh, Agriculture World Candidate. We'll just name this one. Oh, okay. I can't name it. Okay. That's not gonna be a problem. God, they keep asking System for some... Survey complete. These guys keep asking for a ton of stuff, to be honest. And I am not happy about it. But they give us uh, another extra... Yeah, okay, fine. Well met. But they're giving us some influence points, so that's okay. I think we should also... I wonder if we could establish a mercenary fleet here. Okay, they declared us library, so it's already uh, uh, things are already escalating with the trees here. So we're gonna declare them a rivalry as well, and then we're gonna close our borders with them. Oh, oh yeah, it's already automatically closed. They're not happy about this, so we may likely have a war with them, likely. Yeah, they would. And they're mega church. So they're basically more of a uh, spiritualist corporate. So they kind of mix the corporations and church thing. Anyway. Fine with me. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Okay, off world trading. What's this? Uh, grants a small amount of influence, allows renowned leaders to appear. First contact speed plus 20. Huh. The lock star is really interstellar recruitment office. Yeah, that is very tempting. But right now, we need some, uh, you know, some war stuff here to blow up stuff. Because there's immense, uh, uh, what do you call this? Immense war. Incoming transmission. Uh, immense tension from the south. <laughs> While we have... Wait, wait, wait. We're gonna sign a defensive pact with these guys. We're 
gonna sign 20 trust so how do we build trust here we have neutral relations yeah we, they have 20 trust here so what what do they want we could guarantee their independence yes and then uh, form a defensive pack with them in case we get attack yeah I know they're pacifists uh, they're not gonna be happy about it all right uh, okay we got two events here uh, armed vessel discovered in Oreo is an abandoned military space government it's light frame uh, hardware we believe it was hijacked by a rebel guerrilla on its way to perform a strike against secret complex from Zand and Laris with all the weapons to prevent. Okay, send the science crew to. Situation log updated. Uh, Sivan Labs. Uh, where's the Siv wh Where's this one? Tangat system. Okay. Um. Right. Do we have a nearby science vessel? All right. Uh, I'm going to send him on a research there. Yep, we have. A We're gonna form a defensive pack with these guys in case uh, stuff happens. And a research agreement. Um, we could offer a migration treaty with them, but uh, for now. So we have a. Okay, they've already uh Right, so trade is uh working good right now and they've offered the defensive pack. So that will be twenty two three March twenty seven. So this is interesting. But they're also pacifist and uh so it's still a question if they're gonna join the war with us, but uh the spirits have granted us new wisdom. Tactical response fleet. Okay, so we got a stray. Uh, right. We got 2140. We should fold this one up. There might be some errors in this, I guess. FTL inhibitors. Um, active reconnaissance. We could go for basic cloaking, but we'll go for blue laser first. Is that the aliens? Um, Incoming transmission. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's a good idea. Well, we're gonna decline on that one. Complete. Okay, for the time being, we're still solving problems with our uh, construction complete. Okay, um, since we lack, wait, 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 just give me a moment here. Well, we lack the energy, so maybe we could go for commercial. Yeah. Um right. Unfortunately we don't have we lack the uh we lack the defensive uh, capabilities on that. Okay, we are now passing our energy credit, so that's good. Chi aliens. Alright, um we should have an ambassador to uh uh, you know study that so right now tensions are really flaring up oh this one is fit off oh, we're capable of 40 Please. command limit usage is 450 Corvettes so we can command uh, right uh, just give me a moment here um, let me check my fleet manager 
So we still have ten more, I guess. Okay, we got two Corvette fleets and one basically... Uh, probably try to recruit a new one, I guess. I don't really want a Corvette, but I want a destroyer fleet. So, okay, well, anyway. Incoming transmission. Okay. Oh, they're too weak to survive, and they're offering themselves to be a vassal. Okay, we'll agree with that. We are too weak to survive on our own in this hostile galaxy. We will the holy replicant protect us if we become your subject. Yeah, that's a tempting offer. In fact, we could use you. Okay, we'll just accept that. So the T series kingdom and the uh, holy replicant empire. Uh, we could. Well, they offered their uh, va vassalization here. So we're gonna form a form a research agreement with them. I'm still gonna check what kind of vassalization will I put them. Um, uh, this is a new thing for me right now. The faction screen gives an overview of the populace's political leanings. Be aware that shifts in the socio-political climate may give rise to factions. Details on faction sizes. Well, they do have now a combination uh, party here. They can be both authoritarian and militarist. So that's, uh, yeah, that's an improvement uh, from the previous two, uh, the three point uh, six Orion update. It, it's only a single party with a single uh, goal, but now it's a combination of two. Well, anyway, let's continue on our gameplay here. So, since there's a threat. Okay. Right, um, everything's doing good. Yeah, fine. Situation log updated. Construction complete. Okay, that's good. Um, we're gonna go with this. Oh. Special project complete. Okay, fine. So in the meantime, we're gonna build our military here. Uh, we got three fleets, the tactical response fleet, the strategic readiness fleet, and the rapid strike uh, fleet. So we got three fleets here. So in case an all-out uh, attack happens... Okay, so they're already our vassal. But, uh, I think there's some sort of, uh, I forgot the menu here. Uh, what type of vassal can we rearrange them? Well, let me take a look. Uh, government, I guess. Factions, edicts, nope. Uh, Situation log updated. Okay, we're doing going that. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with this one. Agreements with the teaser. The agreements screen provides an overview of our subject and overlord agreements. We can use this screen to keep track of loyalty, manage holdings and trade, and renegotiate the terms of existing agreements. Yeah, okay. Uh, we're gonna go with here just to build up trust. I think overlord garrison would be nice it's the first thing that we should build uh, yes it's overlord garrison every overlord army on this planet has an, gives an additional negative 10 crime plus five monthly loyalty from them and then 1.5 additional loyalty so okay that's a fair deal uh, right, uh, where was I? Uh, contacts, yeah, okay. Uh, what? This screen allows us to choose a preset for our agreement. 
and to configure its individual terms. Each preset provides a tailored okay. set of responsibilities and obligations for both subject and overlord. Well, we're gonna go restricted voting. We could go this. And defensive. Yeah, okay. Uh, who will join Tisaru's defensive wars? Yeah, okay, so it's a mutual uh, subject. Holdings, could, we could have two. Okay, that's gonna minus Sara. Unified sensors. But unfortunately, we cannot propose any new changes until for 55 months. So that's about 2236. We'll probably could go for trivial Terry. We just pay us tribute. Or we could go for bulk work. But anyway, um, we'll just put in on the vassal first because we don't uh, have any uh, resources to make them s a specialized type of. Uh, speaking of which, um, uh, let me take a look on my uh, expansionist planner. Generator world. Colonize. Uh, right, uh, we're just gonna colonize this one. Yeah, generator world. Unfortunately, I lack the. Uh, how much? 68. Okay, uh, and food as well. Yeah, we gotta work out with food. Goodbye, food, and goodbye. Yeah, anyway, we'll just have to secure with food, uh, with Wallachia here. So we got tons of, uh, so we're going to expand our rapid, uh, okay, so, uh, we're good with that. Construction complete. Okay. Probably got a scientist to work with this on the robot debris. Speaking of which, are there. I'm gonna put this one to excavate. Moscow has a negative trait. Arrested development. Okay, that's bad. Uh, Imaskun is suffering from, uh,. I don't know. Uh, probably the. Uh, I'm just gonna put that as more like uh, some sort of uh, effects of rapid aging since they are original clones, I guess. If, uh, let me check on my leaders. Yeah, most of them are not clone descendants, especially uh, Emus. Emus the head scientist is having an arrested development from the effects of aging or advanced or rapid aging since she's an original clone yeah I'm gonna put that uh, on the story wise so for the moment uh, there are tensions building up but none that could declare of a, a swift war so for now we're gonna go for colonization uh, Okay, Intel alert is falling. Incoming transmission. Yep. Okay, what's this? Uh, our colonies on Wallachia have made a startling discovery. Keeping their remote mountain range, they stumbled across mysterious structures that, according to our scans, was not even there. We first surveyed the moon. Conditions excellent. Uh, in fact, architecture shows alien characters in curves and lines, usual disturbing to aesthetic designs. Welcome to the magnificent labyrinth of exotic trans-dimensional anomalies. Enter at your own risk. Okay, send the team. That seems to be interesting. Ah, ascensionist. Incoming transmission. Ah, they basically locked us here on a small area. <laughs> Agreed. 
Yeah, okay, I already get the situation. Basically, this uh, uh, kingdom here uh, basically just locked us here. So in order to expand, we we'll probably have to declare on war with them soon. But we have to... Uh, does this contain any planets? Huh. Okay, we'll probably have to build a huge armada fleet or something. Our to the research is sent into the library house was cut off as soon as they entered. Nothing was heard for several days. We passed. They emerge, however, this has only raised further questions. Research have no memory. Okay, they seem to have aged several years. <laughs> oh my. Okay, uh, right, um, unfortunately we have a lot of, uh, we could claim this one, just to expand the war. Star base capacity plus two, upgrade cost negative 50, defense against hostile, sabotage star base facility plus four. General armies. We don't have much general, so it's not. Ex We're gonna go for a star base. It's much more easier, I guess. So we have extra star base here. So we'll just upgrade this. Yeah, we'll just keep one star base. Uh, right, um, we have now an extra. This is gonna be... Okay, I have to think of an ancient uh, ancient name or historical uh, uh, historical name. Okay, Biafra... Uh, how about... Uh, yeah, we'll just name it Kat Katanga. Katanga. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, this is just basically the same thing. Okay, Katanga. Katanga. That's the name of the world. Katanga Generator World. Okay. Okay, it costed us uh, food here, but uh, I think that's worth it if we're gonna have some generator worlds. We could terraform that later. Okay, uh -huh. so we're just gonna do for military build up here. But, uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, speaking of which, how is our war? Special project complete. Uh, we have an industrial world, so we'll just probably build more. And... Oh, I already... Okay, we're just gonna build a little bit of this. So, we're just gonna build one energy district and one food district. And sell some uh, consumer goods. Okay, Wallachia. Um, stronghold, commercial zones. Uh, we could probably build a temple of some sort. Uh, we could build a farm, but... Uh, stronghold, commercial zones. Yeah, we're gonna build a stronghold, but we lack the minerals right now. So, yeah. Oh wait, 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 that's a stronghold. We already got one. Um, temple would be nice. Okay, let's go. Let's proceed on what we're doing. Okay, uh, we got the Viltrium, uh, yeah, we got the Viltrium guys. So this will be the launch of a future war.
rivalry. Teaser Kingdom declared. Oh, it seems that they're also engaged with a war. Oh my, they have a border on the north. Uh, this is not very good. So I guess it was beneficial that we uh, launch a defensive pack with T0 because uh, from the looks of it war is also boiling on their uh, southern end as well so yeah I think it's beneficial and yeah we could offer migration treaty with them no no that's okay yeah we could to boost our populations but uh, uh, we got 87 clone descendants and we got only uh, I don't know there's only a small percentage of the original clones now still got three robots here the species rights list allows us to customize the citizenship and living standards of a certain species, amongst other things. Yeah, okay, living standards. Well, there's no functional robot populations, but... Uh, so we're now facing a war on the north and on the south, but we better keep our... Uh, we better keep our forces on the south, but we're vulnerable in the north as well. It's a good thing that I have my defenses here. Okay. Well, they're gonna fight a two-front war. One with the Tizuru and one with us. If that would be the case. Okay. Further expedition into the labyrinth have yielded varying at times. Uh, unnerving result. One occasion our researchers were in for mere seconds. We could give no... Okay, over time the sign constraints. Enter at your own risk. Yeah, 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 whatever. That's not Construction gonna... Construction complete. Okay, so we have a starbase ready. But where is the starbase? Oh, on the Zier. Well, uh... Yeah, we're gonna go for this one. Just give me a moment. So it will be our near star base for now. Uh, Zir will serve as, yeah. But for now, we don't have cash here. Okay, we'll just keep that open. All right. So I guess this will conclude our uh, recorded let's play for now. So we're going to save this one. This will be title HRE episode uh, 02, letter D. So for those who are watching on my uh, recorded Let's Play, thank you a lot. I couldn't uh, express any words to of appreciation that you keep uh, watching on my videos here or my playthrough session videos of Stellaris. So again, have a great day. This is Operator 60, and see you on my next uh, recorded Let's Play session. So bye-bye for now.